Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. It is the calm before the storm. Tomorrow is going to be interesting. We have the 1 o'clock game, Eagles versus the um, New Orleans Saints in New Orleans. New Orleans is a little bit beat up after the game uh, against us. The Eagles have to get up off the mat after losing to um, <laughs> Kirk Cousins. My goodness, it's still still crazy to me. Kirk freaking Cousins on Monday Night Football. Be that as it may, it was interesting tonight having our uh, members call in live stream, uh, having Leo in here because, you know, we're laughing at the Eagles losing on a Saquon Barkley uh, drop in the end there and allowing Kirk Cousins to go the distance to take the lead with a minute 40 left to win and the game ending on Jalen Hurts with an interception. Not to, that I'm trying to recap this to be painful for the Eagles, but if it does hurt you, Eagle fans, <laughs> so be it. Um, us, on the other hand, we literally got molly whopped. And so the question you have, and this is where it was interesting to me because listening to a question posed by Leo, Leo was like, wait a minute, you guys lost, you know, defense gave up 44 points, 44 points. How can you give us trash? I, I say, well, Here's what I look at. I look at and say, um, playing against the Cleveland Browns, I know the Cleveland Browns aren't, you know, great offensively, but they did find a way to get a win last week. So they've got, you know, a win just like we do. Um, They're not a great offensive team, and they did have two offensive tackles that were injured. Um, But I can say I saw some good things in that game. I saw linebackers flying to the balls and stuff. Um, I can say, yeah, that team defense looked really good there. On the flip side, I saw my defense look awful. So I don't believe that my defense is as bad as it played last week. I don't think it's necessarily as good as it played the week before. It's somewhere in the middle there. Where exactly, I don't know, but at least gives me some hope to say they have played well. For the Eagles, on the other hand, in in answering that question to him, I can say they didn't really play good against Jordan Love. Jordan Love played before he got hurt was atrocious. He kept throwing off his back leg. He was high on passes, behind in passes, and so on. But yet the Eagles were still, you know, having problems stopping them. So I can look and say they were bad both games. And this was crazy to me because I feel like our Cowboys defense got is getting gashed on the ground. You know, four point nine yards per play. It's terrible. It's awful. But here it is: the Eagles are the absolute positive worse at six point four per run. And in my estimation, I look at their defensive front as the strength of that defense, or it should be. Quite frankly, the way I looked at the Eagles' defense was you're better off passing against that defense than running the ball because I thought their defensive front was good. Now, keep in mind, this is only two weeks into the season. We'll find out more over the next couple of games of where they are. But at the moment, if you are an Eagle fan, you really have to be concerned about that defense as well as Cowboy fans as well. The thing I will say is we've heard that this has been a good week of practice. Let's see what that means. That the Cowboys have been spirited in practice and actually chomping at the bit and wanting to get back out there. And hearing Mike Zimmer, Mike Zimmer is taking the blame. At some point, sometimes you've got to protect your players. And let them know that you have their back. You know, when I look at, listen to Nick Sirianni, who basically kind of pointed the fingers in other directions about the play call and this, that, and the other. um, That is not the best thing to me in my imagination. But then again, what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll. I feel like there was a message sent with... um, Jordan, uh, geez, Jordan Phillips, 
that the Cowboys going through and saying, you know, you're going on injured reserve, that one, he admitted that he's not injured. There's nothing wrong with his wrist. And Jerry Jones said, you know, his wrist looked like it was hurt to me, among other things. And that whole Jamie Foxx thing, I don't know what was going on there, but uh, Google it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Jamie Foxx and uh, Jerry Jones scouting players and stuff and checking out their uh, – uh, abilities, so to speak. So you know, I, 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 I just, I just don't know. But I think that Mike Zimmer is trying to get a hold of this thing and recognizing that we're still early into the process of this. That's what gives me hope and hope that you know we can do something. But we also have to look at this from the standpoint of if you think back to Tony Romo's years. During Tony Romo's years, um, the later years, the early part, 2007, we had a great defense. Uh, that was a team that should have been the Super Bowl. But when you think about like 2010, 11, 12, 13, and even 14, the Cowboys' defense was not good. And that's where the offense helped to protect the defense by keeping them off the field and scoring points and making the opposition one-dimensional. And I think that this is what the Cowboys need to do tomorrow is they're going to need to score. Now, see, Baltimore is a great run-down-your-throat team and always has been. Derrick Henry coming to town is going to want to show up and show off because the Cowboys didn't sign him. They didn't even give him a call, even though he's got two houses in Dallas. And he's probably thinking, this would have been really convenient to be here. The Dallas Cowboys... If they can score points, make this track meet, I'm not sure that Baltimore is going to be able to keep up, and this is how you protect the defense. This defense is a better defense when they have a lead, that they're going after the quarterback. And that's what we couldn't do last week. We could not get a lead. We kept being behind the eight ball the whole time, in which case – the um, New Orleans Saints could run the ball, and that is right against our strength. And so the best thing that can happen is with Dak Prescott and the uh, Baltimore Ravens defense, their secondary is not good. The Ravens right now on offense, I believe they're the number one offense. So you know that you're going to have a hard time stopping them. But if you can score and score and score and score, you can negate some of that running ability, and I think that's where the Cowboys will need to go. Um, I can't wait to see how the team responds to this because it was an embarrassment. And when you get embarrassed, you need to get your ass up off the mat and show somebody that you are a grown-ass man, and I hope that they do that. But we'll find out tomorrow. So I'm kind of sitting here chilling, got my chicken wings out, got my crab meat for tomorrow to make the crab sub and the big sub, and uh, got our glizzy. So we'll be ready for the game. And the question will be is, will the Dallas Cowboys? As always, good people, I appreciate you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the show. Peace out.